Hello world, Shelly here, and today I'm going to do a full face of Lawless, mainly because they recently came out with a little watermelon product line. Thank you, Lawless. They sent me the watermelon products in PR. I have a lot of Lawless stuff, some of which I was sent by the brand, some of which I bought myself, and the Lawless... I always mess up this name. Conceal the Deal Foundation got an A- minus when I reviewed it. So uh, we're going to start there and do a full face of Lawless because reasons. Now this top, this like ditzy floral, is giving me total 90s vibes. So I can't promise that the eye look isn't going to go 90s on me. It might. It might go 90s. You know, we're just going to roll with it. I haven't really planned this out. So, <laughs> I think the only thing I don't have by Lawless is a bronzer. I have, I have their, I have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes. One came in an Ipsy, I think. That I think that was the first time I ever tried Lawless. Now this foundation you can also apply with a brush. I'm just feeling like a doing my makeup the way I did it in the 90s. However, I'm gonna wear blush, which I did not do in the 90s. <laughs> I was very anti-blush back then. <laughs> Mainly because I would get made fun of because of my tomato face. Because my face turns red. I have heat reactive skin, number one, and number two, I just like, especially when I was a kid, I would get embarrassed all the time. And I was always, I was just red. I was just always red. I'm fair skinned, so any kind of physical activity makes me flush. And, uh, yeah, gym class, I can't lie. I did use it to my advantage sometime because, sometimes, because I would look like I was going to faint. And I actually did faint a couple times in my life. But... <laughs> But gym teachers would be like, are you okay? Because I was so red and apparently looked awful. And uh, so I'd be like, no, I really need to rest. <laughs> I was totally lying. I was fine. I just hate cardio. <laughs> Mind you, I was, I was thin at the time. I was, I was not large like I am now. But I've always hated cardio. Except for when I was a runner for a brief moment. Gosh, this foundation is pretty. Oh, I should blend it properly, but you know, missed a spot on my cheek. It's okay, we'll fix that. But goodness gracious, it is just pretty and easy. This is my winter shade. I might need to get another shade of this so that I can wear it year round because this is my winter shade and I reviewed it in the winter time. If I get a little bit of sun, I'm gonna be a little too. This is, you can even tell, I haven't even gotten any sun yet. I'm gonna have to, well, I've gotten a little sun. I forgot to put my watch on. How am I already getting sun? I haven't even been outside. Anyway, this foundation is beautiful. I like it. Lawless is a very clean brand. So, if you're into that, cruelty free vegan you know I don't have a bronzer from them there is a blush in the watermelon collection so we're gonna use that but I too I didn't start wearing bronzer till a few years ago really I don't think I, I wore bronzer before I started this channel ever so really not a big deal to not have bronzer I'm gonna clean off my blush brush because I was using a peachy color last let me show you the watermelon. Oh, it's pretty. Come with me as we take our first dip into the watermelon. All right, it's not super powdery, so we can we can dip in there. We can dip in there. Oh, look at that shade. Ah, it's exactly what I wanted. Like, I was definitely Pink cheeks feel very 90s to me. And I did not wear a lot of blush back then, but I just feel like that's what I remember things looking like. I'm just gonna take a little bit this way. Not as bronzer, but you know, just as coloring my face. 
Because isn't that what makeup is? We're just coloring our faces, right? This brush is not the ideal blush brush for me, but I don't have any other clean ones right now. <laughs> so we're going to make do. And we're going really pink. Like, I want really pink cheeks. I'm going to take a little on my nose. You know, I would never have believed you in high school if, if you told me I was going to be intentionally making my face look pink. I would have never, ever, ever, ever believed you. Ever in a million years. <laughs> ever in a million years. You saw how much I was working that. Like, don't worry about too much pigmentation. This stuff blends beautifully. All right, all right, all right. What should we do? Oh, I bug. Sorry. Let me get my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Now. Let's get this on here. This is my ride or die, never ever gonna get anything else. Like this is the best eye primer of life. I will, I've, I've stopped looking. It's one of the very few products I have no interest in even attempting to find anything else because it's brilliant. It works, it just works. It just works. I'm gonna take this sponge just because to this day, when I'm pink, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I try to get used to it. I'm just trying to blend out. Blend out the edges, you know. This is just a dry sponge just sitting here. Just a dry sponge. Okay. Because I don't want to look blotchy, you know? <sighs> Anxiety. I settled on, we're going to use the palette Baby because it looks very 90s neutral to me and I also have the lavender one which actually I use a lot it's a very good go to work palette I wear it to work a lot where is my Wayne Goss number three I just filmed another video and I probably put it back in the wrong place and I don't like when I do that oh goodness Seriously? Like really, what did I do with it? It can't, there's not that many places here that it could go. <laughs> oh, this is just silly. Fine, I'm not using the number three then. That's fine, I'll use a BK Beauty brush. It is number 201. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna go into that little orangish taupe kind of color. Oh, I forgot. Powdery eyeshadows. Tap your brush. You'll be fine. Tap that brush. It is all good. I'm not thinking super anything with this eye look. I'm thinking, you know, quick, neutral, wham bam, out the door. That kind of thing. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing well. I'm in a marathon of pre-filming. I am probably already in Ireland by the time you see this. Maybe not. Maybe I'm still a week away. I don't know what order I'm putting any of these up in. We're just, we are just filming our hearts out. That's what we're doing. And I've been really enjoying doing eyeshadow looks with y'all lately. So that's what I've been... Oh, there's the number three. Of course, of course, right where I wasn't looking. All right, Sigma E25. I'm going to go into that mauve color, which I suspect they're not meant to be used together, but do I want to do the mauve or do I want to do the one next to it? No, let's just do the mauve. Let's just go with the first instinct. There's, n I love purple and orange together. They remind me of, like, sunset, so I am never... Never opposed to combining the two. I have a feeling they intended me to use the shade next to it for a crease with that transition, but you know me. I do what I want to do. <laughs> That's the thing with makeup. I don't care.
care what the rules are. Like, there are no rules. There are guidelines, and if you need some, like, you know, when you're learning how to go bowling and you have the bumpers in there, like, I feel like that's what makeup rules are. They're like bumpers until you figure out what you like and how to do what you like, and, you know, like, they're... They're guidelines. They're not rules. There are no rules. You wear what makes you happy. That's my rule. All right. I don't know what brush this is. Oh, it's my Mac two three three two two three two three three. Whoa. Don't know why I grabbed it because I don't know what I'm doing. I think we're gonna do this color. Outer corner. I wish there was one more shimmer in here. There's a darker and a lighter, which is, you know, the minimum. That's that's what you need. But I would love one color of shimmer. I know, it's a neutral palette. You know me. I don't go neutral very often. Oh, I just used the wrong color. Good job, Shelly. <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. I just used the crease color in my outer corner. That's all. These look really pretty together. Look at, look at, see, it's like sun. It's like sunset. That's what I'm feeling. I'm getting total sunset vibes. I'm here for it. I'm just taking this a little bit farther out. I'm feeling droopy on my outer hood, so I'm trying to disguise them just a smidge. All right. Same brush. I just wiped it off. I'm going to do... Gonna do that shimmer, and we'll see how far to the inner corner we take it. I'll go almost all the way, but not quite all the way, because I'm gonna use that lighter shade in the very inner corner. This is a really pretty palette. I mean, I don't want to call it basic. Neutral with a little bit of a purple-red set of options, let's say. There's a cat hair on my brush. All right, so I'm taking that lighter shade at the very, very, very inner corner. I think I went too far on that eye. <laughs> let's bring the other one back. All right, so then I'm kind of taking it, just tapping it in to blend into the darker shade. Now I'm gonna go back into the darker shade and just wiggle barely touching my eye over that seam you know just to blend it a little bit and take that the very lightest shade again pop it right in the inner corner take that same lightest shade i'm going to give myself a little brow bone highlight right under the arch lawless mascara i love this stuff it's the one and done so it's like the wand, but then it's got one of those little ball tips, but it's not the obnoxious, large, giant ball tip. Like, it's actually functional. I can't remember which drugstore brand first came out with that, but it was so dysfunctional. Like, it just, I think it still exists, actually. Look how pretty that is. That was like one dip. I usually only need one dip, which maybe that's why they called it one and done. I don't know. But I usually only do one dip and it's beautiful. I'm probably almost out of this because I've been using this one like hardcore. I fell hard for this mascara. And you know I was on like a riding the cover girl train for a long, 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 long time. But this one, mmm. It is nice, and you can go back in and use that little ball tip to spread those lashes out. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't lie though, I do still use my Estee Lauder Zero Smudge for the lower lash line. I'm sorry to the world. Yes, I'm the girl, I'm that girl, using two different friggin' mascaras. I have to. My lower lashes touch my face, and so I use this. Alright, that's the eyes. Brow time. 
All right, so this is their pencil, the Shape Up Soft Fill Brow Pencil. It's your double-ended micro pencil on one side, spoolie on the other. And so this brow, as you see, has this like divot, but it has a really nice point to its arch. This brow has no divot, but also no point to its arch. I am the girl that has wanted a pointed arch in my brows for my entire life. And I still have not perfected drawing them evenly, but I've been getting better at it. So I just keep on doing it and you know, someday, someday I'll be good at it. This brow is easy because I just basically, if I fill in my missing, you know, the missing hair, then I get it right. You know, it just fills itself and it works out well. And then I just fill in the front a little bit where I've got gaps in my brow hair. And then just do a little fill in for color purposes. And then we'll spoolie it out. But do you see how like I can, I can do this one just fine because like the tip of my brow hair is at the right point. This eye doesn't have a tip of my brow hair. <laughs> the other thing I like is that I can put these caps on either side and it doesn't matter. Like when there's a certain special way you have to do it, otherwise they don't fit, then it guarantees I'm gonna do it the wrong way. It's like USB drives. Even though it's half the time you should be right, I'm never right. Like I never do them the right way. This is the, why'd the name just leave? Oh, cause I'm reading it upside down. It is the Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. I have this in medium to dark. And this for me doesn't hold my brows up as spiky as I like them, but I find it's a step I cannot skip because it just helps even out the tone, like the color, and it picks up on some of those baby hairs so that they're visible. It gives them structure and it makes it look like I have lots and lots and lots of brow hair. I do understand that I have a good amount of brow hair. I made it through the 90s without plucking my brows. Cause like I said, I was like very, um, I don't know, I just wore a lot of black eyeliner, a ton of mascara, and I never wore blush or anything and it was brown lipstick and that was, that was my whole life of the 90s. That was my, my 90s life. Anastasia Brow Freeze. Sorry, I said it was all lawless, but it's mostly lawless. I'm just supplementing. I need spiky brows. I love my brows to be all up and bushy-like. All right, let's talk lips. So, I've been using this for a couple nights now. It is from that watermelon collection. It's the Forget the Filler. That's their line of lip plumping products. It's the Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. Now, the plumping it does, this is very exciting to me because the plumping it does is actually quite hydrating as opposed to like the tingle that gives you sort of like inflammation induced plumping. It feels a little tingly, but that's really not it because you're gonna wear it all night long and it's so hydrating. Mm, I have dry lips year round. So bravo on the overnight mask. And then I've got, both from the Forget the Filler line, we have a lip balm and a lip gloss, and I'm gonna wear them both. So where's Sherlock? This shade Juicy Watermelon is the balm. And here's what we got going on here. I like that it has some color. It's not waxy at all. I think that is awesome. It's more substantial, does not feel like I just put on chapstick. Way more emollient than that. That feels like it's gonna hang around, which I like. Hmm, let me just show you that color while we're just sitting here. And then, let's make sure I got the color on this one too. Did they also call it Juicy Watermelon? Yes, they did. This is the gloss. I love the shape of their glosses. It's that like lip hugger shape. 
but their glosses are very thick and not sticky. They're pillowy. That's what I would call it, pillowy. Ooh, there comes the tingle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, what do you think? My hair's a hot mess. I, maybe that's part of my 90s thing. I'm, uh, the first, so I, I dyed my hair with some Manic Panic. This is their, um, their fundraiser shade for the Breast Cancer Foundation. And, uh, the first time I do a new color, I wait as long as I possibly can before I wash it for the first time. So, yeah. I'm looking grungy. I'm looking straight out of the 90s. <laughs> but I like how this makeup look turned out. Ah! <laughs> Yay! What do you think? Should we go back to the 90s? I, you know, a lot of the 90s clothing has been popping back up in the world. I would love to have a little throwback 90s makeup. Like, bring it back, you know? Just bring it back. Let's just bring it back. There you have it. Full face of lawless. If you have not checked out my review of the foundation, check it out. I've got the whole wear test, everything. The foundation is lovely. And I approve. I like watermelon. It smells good. And it looks good. And the mini eye palettes are great too. The other one, so I showed you this one. The other one I have is lavender. I use this one a lot, as you're going to be able to tell just from dipping into that pan. You see, I've talked about this on my channel before. I love the curation of the undertone of this gray and it is deep enough to give dimension and thank you, Lawless, because so many palettes leave that out. I was just talking about that in, I was using this ColourPop palette. It's a super cute palette. The What Dreams Are Made Of Lizzie McGuire palette, but there's nothing here to give any depth. And I had to dig into a different palette to get a dark enough shade to give some depth in the outer corner. That's a big deal for us people with droopy outer lids when we're trying to push that back and draw less attention to it. So anyway, I will get off my high horse. That's one of my favorite things about Lawless. And you see, they do it in this palette too. And you've actually got two choices of dark enough shades to give you dimension. Hmm. Brilliant. They have great color curators over there at Lawless. There you have it. One brand, mostly. <laughs> what do you think? Have you tried stuff from Lawless? What from the brand do I need to try that I haven't tried yet? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.